fixtures. How many of you have ever seen a Sharpie fixture that's been too close to the carpet in a venue or too close to a bag set that on fire? These lights that we have today are extremely intense and they generate a lot of heat. Lasers, in particular, can be dangerous to round slings, and they can be dangerous at a distance. The, the uh, thing about high-power lasers is they just reach out and they keep going. Now, obviously, the further away you are from the laser source, the less intensity you're going to have. But a laser, even at, you know, across the room, has enough energy to set a combustible material on fire whether it's a, a cardboard box, uh, a piece of burlap, uh, a, a span set. Now, fortunately, laser regulations require that we keep them at certain distances above people's heads or lateral to where they are. Um, but if you have the unfortunate uh, situation occur where a laser beam dwells too long on a span set, you're going to get a problem. So let's demonstrate that for you real quick. Let me put on my laser goggles. And uh, can I have a laser beam, please? OK, what you see here is a 20-watt laser beam. And I'm going to show you just how quickly a laser can compromise a span set. OK? Right now, we've already burned through the outer jacket. And the fibers that are inside are starting to melt together. So how quickly can we say with a high degree of confidence that that might be a compromised span set? Pretty darn quickly. Thank you, John. <laughs>